<laughs> it's uh, six thirty. We'll call the meeting to order. Um, do we have any citizens' comments tonight? Hearing none. We'll go on to the next project. Is the ventilation products project? And we have a letter here from John Penny about the heating and ventilation upgrades. Um, number one and number two are we have to make our, we should should make our choices of what we want to do. Anybody have any comments? I'll Jeff, were you able to talk to Penny about this one? No, it was not. No, we just got it today. Mm -hmm. um, he did um, send me a, a note saying that what he was sensing from the board at the last meeting was that um, you guys were leaning more towards the fan coils and ERV and actually on, on that um, document that he gave us it says ERU it should read ERV um, you guys were seemingly leaning towards that approach because of um, what it was going to allow you to do in terms of air conditioning for this space and the computer can we um just take them in order. Start with the easy one. The thermostats. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're kind of related. Okay. Because if you were going to go with digital controls, that would kind of lend itself okay. that you were going to go with the digital All right. system. Um, do we have ha do we have pricing on? He was hoping that the contractor was going to get me stuff last week, and I still don't have anything. Okay. Unfortunately. I mean, we know that the um, the digital is certainly going to be a lot more, it's more expensive. expensive. Yeah, yeah. And along with that, I think a while back we had um, spoken about if we would want to tie into one of the servers that other schools and other districts are using. Right. And I think that just that I was getting that you guys wouldn't want to do that, so that would be even you know a more expense that you would have to get your own standalone server to manage that system. I can't speak for anybody else who was, or any other board members anyway. I, I, I don't think that I, I, I didn't mean to convey a sense of leaning towards that option over, over the other option. Um, I think we, one of the things we wanted to do was see whether the other, the other buildings, the Bennington district buildings that have already moved to a digital system, whether they had any feedback for us that might be helpful. Uh, so I don't know whether we're able to get that or not. There has been um, some some concern about overheating, but a lot of that has to do like in Ben out with windows, mm -hmm. um, so not really related to the the system that they ended up putting in. Um, I think in terms of the other couple of buildings in um, the Bennington School District, I think those have been working well. Um, and I'll just throw this out for what it's worth. When I did talk to Dave Hayden um, a few weeks ago, he's of the mindset that he feels a building of this size going with a digital system might be a little overkill um, just because of, of, of its size. Um, so he would probably advise you to probably not spend the money okay. um, and just go with the, the fan coils and the ERV unit with the Wi-Fi um, thermostats. And that, that allows us to have the controls through here. The, the fan coils will, and the ERV will allow you to add air conditioning to these spaces. Yeah. Through, it's, it, without going through Bennington. Correct. Yeah. It, would be a, it would be a standalone, and not even a digital system. Right. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the non-digital. Okay. Yeah, that day that we had that meeting, it was very warm, and school hadn't started, but teachers were in the building, or you were in the building anyway. It was clearly <laughs> uncomfortable. So, having a system, having a you know the option to cool, I think would be important. Yes, so. especially with the temperatures has been yeah. the last two weeks. So. 
so you'd like us to make a decision on one versus the other on number two, and that affects which way we would go on number one. Uh, can we just review quickly the costs on number two as they were as they've been presented so far, even if they were rough? Sounds about right. Yeah. 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 And I, I think Jeff, I think the thermostats in the wing right now are not set up, right? They are not. We want them set up for the for the winter. winter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one decision we have to make. Yeah. He said that the Wi-Fi would have the ability to send like low temp notifications to Jay. Yeah. Um, actually, so both of them I think would have that. Right. That ability, whether you want the digital or the Wi-Fi units. Um, and just in terms of thermostats, uh, John sent me a note. Of a little while ago saying that he thinks there's about a three thousand dollar difference between the thermostats so not a whole lot of savings there i guess it would be you know more in the mechanical system computerized computers requirements that you would need to operate that digital system So basic, basically, if I think I got this, I don't know if I do or not. Your the uh, number two upgrade for library uh, that would be fan coil units with digital controls, mm -hmm. standalone controls. Is that what we're looking at? I'm sorry, say that again. Well, and like uh, I'm I'm looking at the library area right now that on this letter that John sent. Basically, we're looking at the fan coil units with the ARV and digital controls. We can go with either digital or the standalone. Standalone. So the standalone would be in the room. You can just adjust it as you need to. Standalone would be in each room. The digital. It would, yeah. The, the, the digital would be part of the system, the complete system. Yeah, but we're gonna have thermostats in every room. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. whether you manually adjust them or digitally adjust them. Yeah. So the digital capacity basically would allow you to dial into a computer and see what's going on mm -hmm. in each of the classrooms and yeah. adjust it from the computer as opposed to adjusting it on the wall. Or Jeff could adjust it from home before he gets to work in the morning. Just something else you wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> as far as uh, what we have available or what we budgeted to spend on these projects, we had our ballot article for this current year was 117000 mm -hmm. um, The amount that we still have in that capital reserve is still over a couple hundred thousand. Okay. And would we anticipate that this project would be completed before the end of the fiscal year, of this fiscal year? If we can give him some direction now yeah. 
to get a, he'll, he would put a proposal together for us to let us know what the anticipated cost would be to design the system that you select. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With that, he'll design it. We can get it out to bid, hopefully much earlier in the season than we have faced in the past, which would hopefully get us in a better um, bidding position mm -hmm. uh, to have some more competitive prices instead of where they came in because we were paying late in the season. We were just getting yeah, I think that's what, that's what we're looking at, is yeah. trying to they get start it out the day after school ones. Yeah, the yeah. work would be done in the summer, though, correct? Yes. It has to be done so in the summer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll be doing it. The bid will be out, but yeah, most, but the, most the work of the will be done in the summer when the yeah. school's out of school's session. Out. Yeah. Except for the thermostat. Except for the thermostat's down in that wing. Yeah. yeah. Because that's got to be done this year. Yep. I mean, and, and you know Dave, I mean, how he operates. Yep. I mean, if he, were, he was the one to actually get the project, he might be able to come up with a plan to do it a little bit more incrementally over breaks or something. He may. Like that. He may. Mm -hmm. I don't. So I don't know the details. I, it's probably less invasive than what we did down there with changing the ventilation down there. I would guess, but um, I don't know exactly what it would detail completely. Okay. <laughs> Involve cutting more holes in the ceiling. <laughs> so, that's it. so, what do you think? Well, my feeling is it'd do that with the digital controls mm -hmm. um, and set it up like that and then you can do the whole thing right you can do it from the digital you can do from the computer somewhere yeah. so if you get a call in the middle of the night somebody can get on the computer and see if it's Jake could get on the computer and see what's going on I think your Wi-Fi is going to give you, well, it'll give you that same notification yeah. option, yeah. but not the ability to, to actually look at the system from a remote location. Yeah. So I just don't know how how often so we're going to be in a situation like yeah. that and how, whether it's so worth spending the so extra So both money. Jay and I are less than, or about three miles from school. So if we, get a, if we got an alert that there was something wrong, um, we could respond you fairly quickly. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think one thing, either one of these systems would save Jay from doing regular checks in the wintertime. Either you know, of them. He came in the morning and the afternoon, usually, when we're out of session, to check the system, make sure everything's running smoothly. Yeah, so, so either, either, one, either, either, either one of those would, would, would do that. Yeah. Um, Which is I, basically I, what we want, I think. Being here for five, one or six years now, I kind of agree with, with probably Hayden, is I'm not sure we need a whole. I've seen the, I've seen the system at the middle school when I was there, and it was, you know, they could, big computer screen, you could see all, you could slide temperatures I'm not sure we we need that here um, but yeah it would be nice to get an alert if something's not going right or there's a cool room or something like that in the winter time but um, and after like Jeff said after the summer we've had uh, maybe some cooling in select rooms would be nice, um, could, would be nice. Um, especially the computer lab we've got a lot of equipment in there now and we're adding to that yearly and, and that just creates heat in itself that just creates heat in itself yeah and we want to protect that equipment yep. um and then maybe the office area as well because amy and i are here pretty much most of the summer um. so I, I i would be in favor of the non-digital solution i think just for wi-fi yeah I mean, and just just the non-expensive control system that is going to require a professional to you know, deal with whenever there's a serious issue, and it, it just seems like it's maybe a little bit more than we really need here. Yeah. We can direct that extra money, whatever we might save, towards something else that would be more beneficial for mm -hmm. air conditioning. Yeah, well, that could be. Yeah, yeah. could be yeah. in certain areas. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at the Wi-Fi thermostats with a fan coil with the ERBs. Yeah. Uh, was that with the digital or the standalone? It would be the standalone. Standalone, standalone, standalone. controls. Yeah. Okay. Mm okay. Okay, you got that, Renee? Do I make a motion? Do we need a motion? <laughs> I don't know if we... Do you make a motion? I think it would be good to just, so yeah. just have record because do, do you have record. Do we we'll need anything else in that motion? Did you get? Did you get I, the I'm not sure I've got no. what the motion is. Right. The motion we, we don't have it yet. Yeah. So I would move that we uh, start with number one. Just <laughs> going back to that. Uh, that for the uh, 56 wing and the thermostats, we go with the Wi-Fi thermostats. Mm -hmm. 
and on the library <coughs> area upgrade, we uh, asked John to move forward with uh, fan coil units with ERV and standalone controls. Yep. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Any other discussion? Nope. Do you need anything else on that, Renee? Yeah, nope. Well. I can give him that direction. I'll have him put a proposal together and I'll bring that back okay. to the board. Okay, we'll bring it to a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That takes it unanimous. Okay. So you're just going out for pricing on this now? Design and pricing? He's yes. going to have to design it and then we'll go out to bid. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Superintendent's report. At your meeting last month, you. Um, <clears throat> a review of the changes in the administrative contract principles contract mm -hmm. so I'm reporting to you tonight and you voted those changes and it continued its process through all the boards for ratification so I'll report to you tonight that last week the last board ratified that contract so we now have a new five-year contract in place with the principles and the system principles and uh, if that's not already on our website uh, I think the final copy came on my desk today so it should be up there soon so if it already isn't so um, congratulations to everybody for getting that done um, you also voted at your last meeting to um, support the articles of agreement for board makeup of this new proposed board uh, to mirror what we had in our act 46 um, uh, study committee Articles of agreement. So, you took the lead on that um, at at the Bennington board. Uh, no surprise there, since they were only going to have two seats in the proposal. They voted also that that is their position. Woodford, uh, to their credit, voted to stay with the proposed articles of agreement um, as they were in our proposal which would give them only one and we'd give Bennington back four. So similar to how, you know, Mount Anthony is and, and um, uh, Powell did not vote on it because they have a different, and they, even though they signed off on the our Act 46 study committee, when it came to a Section 9 report, they submitted a very different Section 9 report that basically that they would remain independent and North Bennington um, sent in a different one too. So we have Next week, next Wednesday, um, is the state regional state board meeting that will look at the Secretary of Education's Act 46 uh, draft proposal. Um, as you know, it calls for the consolidation of Shaftesbury, Woodford, Bennington, and Pownall. And um, we're sending in a packet to be put into the state board agenda packet that are your minutes that show your minutes from your what vote you took what um, Woodford's uh, minutes we got their minutes um, Monday you know yesterday morning uh, their vote to document that this happened and then there's a letter from the uh, BSD board chair that will be part of that and um, the SVSU attorney Steve Stickles is also drafting a letter um, arguing or arguing might not be the right word but our position about why this board makeup should mirror what Mount Anthony is which is you know four two 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 and one um, it's just from even from a uh, the appeal to the state board is even more from a practical sense that why would you create a second model of governance when we already have one that's been working the Mount Anthony board it'll, it'll be familiar to all constituents uh, if if we if we stay with that plan so um, Bennington Shaftesbury and Woodford are all on together because you all had similar section 9 plans so that's next Wednesday at 1245 we get 20 minutes I can't imagine that it will and then the next 20 minute uh, is North Bennington and they're not having their meeting tonight. They've moved it tomorrow night, so I will go tomorrow night and hear what what they plan on presenting. Um, the original of, of their uh, Section 9 proposal um, 
was really asking for relief to get out of Mount Anthony and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that 
there is a process for doing that, but you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then, school choice, pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating. So then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But, you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, 
non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. Do they want to leave? And then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating, so then school choice pre-K through 12. But as you know, those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that. But you know, basically, Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote. 
do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote to let them out and become um, non-operating so then school choice pre-k through 12 but as you know those of you who've been on the study committee with me know that there is a process for doing that but you know basically Benny, uh, North Bennington holds a vote do they want to leave and then all the other towns have to have a vote